the not too distant future Next Sunday AD There was a guy named Joel Not too different from you or me He worked at Gizmonic Institute Just another face in a red jumpsuit He did a good job cleaning up the place But his bosses didn't like him So they shot him into space Part of this dumb nightmare doubleman ad, Joel. Yeah. Don't bite me. You're the thing with two heads. It's fun. I call Ray Milan. Oh, great. That makes me Rosie Greer. Oh, come on. A fella could do a lot worse than be a star lineman for the LA Rams. Yeah, but who just happens to be in touch with his feminine side. Let me tell you something, Pinbeak. Your mouthwash just ain't making it. Oh, yeah? Well, this body really stinks. Look at these tiny little arms. What are they good for? Eating corn on a cob? Joel, I really, really hate this thing with two heads idea. Well, yeah, I, stop us before we kill again, Joel. Well, how about this? Well, you're the odd couple, 1999. Say, cool. sometime earlier, Crow's body had thrown him out, requesting that he never return again. Can two heads live in the same body without driving each other crazy? Felix? No, Oscar, it's not spaghetti, it's linguine. No, it's good. Oh, I don't Two. think so. Three. We'll be right Sign back. Up. All right, come here, you little waffle <laughs> stuff. Get him, get him, let him have it. Hey, wait, that's me. That's, that's my body. Oh, look at oh. my fat little fireplug of a body. It's humiliating, Joel. I know. You look like George Wentz. Oh, come hey. on, you guys. He's just a little husky, that's all. Oh, look at him run, the stupid jerk. Traitor, you get back here with the... Say, look at the cute butt on me, will you? It's not half bad, is it, guys? Woo hey, you're getting into a real weird area now, uh, sir. Yeah, Tom, I don't know if that's natural, buddy. Gentlemen, can't a robot admire his own back porch without being thought of as a strange Cool, cool it. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch are calling. Well, I guess the big news around here is Dr. Clayton Forrester died, passed away two, three days ago. As you can imagine, it's a little hectic, what with the funeral arrangements and the business to attend to. And the mole people have been a great source of strength. Wow, what happened? He was uh, dead. I guess that's what caused it all. Um, well, you know, the upshot of all this is <laughs> I'm going to be in charge around here from now on. <laughs> what a way to get a promotion, huh? <laughs> oh, hi. Why don't you forge ahead with this week's invention exchange, Joel? I'm going to be busy with Frank for a second. Ooh, you think you'll kill him? Hush, child. Well, sirs, our invention today looks like an ordinary prop radio, mm -hmm. except that its tuner only picks up channels from old sitcoms and movies. Like, for example, this is set up for the Plot Point channel. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special bulletin. The Midvale Bank has just been robbed by two armed hooligans. Hmm. And then there's the incredibly plot-specific news channel. This just in, apparently the Harlem Globetrotters are lost at sea and thought to be washed up on an uncharted desert isle. <laughs> and, of course, the generic teen dance music station. This one song has been playing on this one station for over 50 years. Yeah, this was danced to by the likes of Chip Douglas and Marsha Brady, even Jethro Bodine. What do you think, sirs? Here, it's going to start hurting soon. Uh, take one of these for pain, and the red ones should reduce the swelling. Thanks, Steve. Well, very clever, Holly Hobby. Now taste the red-hot steel of Dr. Clayton Firebrand Forrester. 
The punching bag has always had a sound principle behind it. Frank? Yes, that it's fun to beat Bafo the Clown savagely and repeatedly till the Bafo's bleeding from the ears. But then, alas, the thrill is gone. You know, the fire goes out of your belly. You need something new to stimulate your imagination. That's right. That's why we've invented these hateful punching bags with images of characters from the Renaissance Festival. Uh, for instance, there's uh, the Rat Catcher. Excuse me, sir, is that your head or did your neck throw up? Oh, bite me, Frodo. And there's the ever-popular leather mug maker. Please, sir, sample my wares. Sample my fist, you community theater reject. <laughs> Lovable Harlequin. I am Harlequin. I am your worst nightmare. $23 to get in. Huzzah my butt, you satin-suited, Tolkien-reading loser. Uh, that's enough, Frank. Uh, well, Joel, uh, your experiment this week is a sweet meat replete with empty-headed teens, fast cars, and a cute little lizard. It's called the Giant Gila Monster, and it will make you hurt, or my name's not Earl Scheib. Enjoy. Wait, 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 wait for the movie set! Oh, head snapped right on, real nice. For a unexplored reason. A little stiff. Bleak <clears throat> and desolate. Where no human ever goes. Macy's? And no light hmm. is ever seen. Only you can prevent forest fires. It is as though the land had been posted huh? by God. Roasted. It's God roasted for great taste. in these lonely areas of impenetrable forest and dark shadows. Barnabas Collins. The Gila monster still lives. Shelly Winters? How large the dreaded Gila monster grows, no man can say. Hey! Oranges, porridges, who cares? There ain't no rhyme for oranges. Ooh. I usually don't touch cheeks on the first date. Richie oh. Potsy, no! <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Bad movie? You're soaking in it. Hey, Hava, La Gila, Hava, La Gila, Hava. Hmm? You know what? This kind of looks like a modified I Dream of Genie Intercept font, mm. don't you? No, 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 no. It's a Bewitched uh, Sans Serif. No, I think you're thinking of a Patty Duke show, Bold Condensed, actually. Uh -huh. well, you know, if it was italicized, I'd swear it was Jack Webb. Hmm. Good call. Him. It's damn casual, actually. Tonight. K E double L O double dead. <laughs> and featuring Jack, no nickname Marshall. Oh, Don. Hey, look, Wee Willie Risser, my favorite John Ford film. I have to do that. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, great. The uh, Gila Monster's fictitious. What a downer. Any person living or dead. Oh, Kent Curtis, a Festus from Gunsmoke. Well, now, Matthew, you act. The best you each morning. Not. We now join Gila Monster, already in progress. Oh, it's a scene from Truth or Dare. <laughs> hey, the kids are meeting in a barber shop. Hey, who put their comb in my hey, coat? Hey, it's Catherine Hepburn's son. Huh? Dear Eliza, I'll get that door and roof fixed real soon. Thank you, love. Hey, gang. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hey, hey, hey. 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 Aaron, don't touch me. I'm all made up. Please. Hey, gang, we're passing the room with it. Some of us have to move into the elevator. Where's Pat and Liz? I thought we'd be the last ones here. <laughs> They're probably out spooking around somewhere. Maybe they broke <laughs> Boom! Down. Not in his heat. I worked on it myself. <laughs> oh, that, that wouldn't make any difference if he goofed the speed shift or something. Oh, shut up, Pee Wee. Yeah. Just the one to do it. Hey, you got it. Oh, wonderful. What kept you so long, Lisa? 
Oh, Mr. Wheeler smoked hmm? two cigars at the table after dinner. And I could not get out of the shit. Whoa, 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 honey, speak English, will you? Pa did not come home for dinner. That's why his father was so upset. Here, drink this. It'll make you feel American. Here's old man Harris. Down, 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 That fella has a jewel of a car. Let me think about that. Okay. Well, luck, man. Hyman, wait here in the car. Looks like this is where old jalopies go to die. Hey! It's TV's lovable string band! Little girl. You want to sell that deuce? My little news, Coop, you don't know what I got. Why are you fellas always after me to buy my car? <laughs> that 32 is the ideal stock to convert to a bomb. Why do you guys always throw me down and steal my wallet? Buying a car, is just like getting married. Or going to New York City. New, New York, York City! Everybody ought to do it once, but get the real buddy ought to do it twice. <laughs> I'm available for parties and bar mitzvahs. Yeah, I can get you a good price on that. Again with a finger. Paid $695 for that car 26 years ago. Ten years ago, wasn't worth a dime. Last Ding. month, I turned down a hundred for it. When it gets back up to six ninety-five again, mm -hmm. I'll sell it. <laughs> 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 Just beat him up and take the piece. Oh, hey, Spoo, uh, give me a snort of that there soda. <laughs> Excuse me, that one just slipped out. Hey, gang, you know this would be Lisa's first trip to a drive-in. Oh, we have drive-ins in France too. Oui, yeah. c'est les Jerry yeah. Lewis I movies. I went with my brother on his motor scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's filling the bottle. Oh, oh. Who put soda pop in my soda pop? <laughs> hey, let's go do some crimes, man. Hey, Chase. If the road's clear, I'll drag you to Bartonell's corner. Drag me? Yeah, I'll get the tow chain. No. You still running on that old rubber? Old rubber? No, no, no. no. Hey, Spooks, when Pat and Liz get here, will you tell them that we went to the drive in and for them to catch up? Thank you. We sure will. And I'll give you 150 bucks. To take acting lessons. <laughs> You're talking like my butcher's lady. Okay, enough said, old timer. Are you playing <laughs> with kids? <laughs> oh, it's red man juice. <laughs> oh, that guy cracks me up. I don't know, do you? One Adam 12, one Adam 12. What are you doing in Wisconsin? <laughs> Selznick International Pictures presents. I'm Sebastian Cabot, and this is Ghost Story. The Death Bear Program! Pat didn't come home last night. He didn't? No, evidently was out with Liz Humphreys. She didn't come home either. Oh? No. When you do, Sheriff. I want you to find out why. And don't leave a stone unturned in doing so. Do I make myself clear? I understand, Mr. Wheeler. That's a well-fitting suit. <laughs> Rex reported last night. Your son, Pat, he's about 19, isn't he? That's right. As teens go, yes. He's a year older than I was when I got married. You think they eloped? No, they can't elope. They're fruit, get Ooh, it? <laughs> there. I didn't say that. But if they were out together all night, you better hope they have. This is a missing persons report, and I want to know what you're going to do about it. Well, I'll send in an APB on both of them and the car. I don't think it'll do much good if they went off to get married. They'd already be across the state line. Uh -oh. Why, if he got married, I'll ring his That neck. Jerry Lee, he's done it again. You ask me, it's that Chase Winston. He's older than the others. Sets them all wrong. Why, he's got more influence on Pat than I have. Hooker's a good guy. Chase job. Winston does more about keeping them in line than getting them in trouble than I know. He's supported his mother and sister ever since his dad died on one of your drill rings. Your son could take a page out of his book, Mr. Ooh, Wheeler. What a when burn. I get through with my son, he won't have a book left. Now, you locate him or I'll have your job. If you want to be the only peace officer in 10,000 square miles and 1,000 miles of road, you're welcome to it. This is my world, and welcome to it. I'll do everything I can to locate both of them. Go on home. They're waiting for you. <laughs> Yeah. Wish I were. <laughs> These. <laughs> Was this the misfits all of a sudden? Set of wheels. Yeah, new to me. That <laughs> bunker I had, I'd be chasing you boys on a bicycle in a couple of days. Oh, come on, Sheriff. Outside of Pat Wheeler, we haven't had a ticket in our gang in eight months. Oh, I was just kidding. How much for the macaroni and cheese? 
Hmm. What's the mileage on it? Oh, about 35,000. Charlie bought it from the state. Those lucky stiffs on highway get a new car every year. <laughs> Let me have it for a couple of days and I'll tune it up for you. Oh, <laughs> you choke it off so I could never catch it. You couldn't catch that deuce of mine right now. Now, let me have that patrol car. I'll turn it into a slingshot that'll catch anybody. A Joe Namath oh, netted wait. slingshot. <laughs> ah. What do you dream about? Just between us, Liz Humphreys and Pat Wheeler didn't get home last night. Mm. They were supposed to meet us at the drive-in, but they didn't show up. We wondered what happened. Heck, Ramsey. Are they in any kind of trouble? Oh. What do you mean? Yeah, no. You know, like Warren Beatty and Annette Bening? No, I don't think so. Chase, level with me. You think I'm pretty? I'm almost positive they weren't in any trouble. I'd know. Mechanics intuition. You think they might have run off to get married? Hmm. Well, they've been going steady for over a year now. I know they talked about it, but... Well, sir, person's not, got not urges. like for right now. Did Pat have any money stashed? Geez, what is he, the shell answer man? Yeah, some. Like how much? Well, he was talking about getting a new blower and a mill. What? Hmm? About 500 bucks. Really? Where did he get that kind of money? Bank sale. Saved it. His old man gives him a good allowance when he's not mad at him. What bank does he use? Hooterville Savings and Loan. All right. to find out. Could have been saving if he got married, couldn't he? Mm -hmm. I guess he could do whatever he wants with it. Looks like the garage of Dr. Calgary. Mm -hmm. His old man has put him down flat. I know. But Pat's smart enough to provide for himself till the old man cooled off. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Slow down. Did you check the hospital? Yeah. Where could I find the rest of the gang? Gangland? I don't know about Bob and Gordy, but. Chuck and Rick went over to Easton. They wanted to check with the wheel cats about next Saturday night's platter party. Next Saturday night? Yeah. You warn the gang I'll be cruising that pass that night. Say. No dragon. Oh, uh, he just bought those red satin pumps. You got any postcards from those two? Let me know. Say, nice J. Crew barn jacket. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Grandma's Lake Cottage in Frederick, Wisconsin. Mr. Douglas, I got those bodies buried just in time. Well, they were just waiting by the door. Junior Sam. Oh, yeah. Hello, Sheriff. I don't have ah. for you, ah. She's a good girl, Sheriff. God, you're right. How come you drove around the truck all night? Then? Well, let's just say I'm acquainted with the night. You don't think she might have eloped, do you? Could be. She's pretty close mouthed about her affair. More the likes of Wheeler. Ain't marrying our kind of folks. Here we're just simple white trash. You don't have a folk. phone, so I just dropped around to let you know I'm doing everything I can. We know that, Sheriff. We sure do appreciate it. Oh. Sorry, Elizabeth, you so much trouble. Never any trouble looking after kids. Let me know if I can help, Sheriff. Sheriff, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta go quit worrying this way. We've got to trust in the Lord. We've got Crazy to Amish folk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Morning, Sheriff. Let me smell your breath. Hey. Hmm, nice uvula. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Set me free, booze. I need you. Hi, Chase. Hi. Uh, still got you your knee up, I see. Yeah, she's all set. Good. Oh boy, that's one trip I'm glad I don't have to make very often. Stuff heavy, I'll help you unload. No. Ready right, and yep. Hot. Wheeler sinking another oil well when he sprayed a fire when it comes in. What? What the heck are Four you saying? Two blistering out there in that camp. He wants us to keep it out back in the storehouse. Will Rogers Follies will continue after this. So last <laughs> winter, when number 21 <laughs> came in, I made $100 for that stuff. Dad showed me how to use it. Mom told not you not bad. to use it. Ooh. Well, she doesn't get nervous. Well, I'm sorry I was so late getting back. But with that cargo, I was afraid to do over five miles an hour. Was English your first language? Uh, it's not so dangerous as long as it's in a nitro case. But I took these out of the case. Ooh. Mm. Smoke. You're lucky to be standing here talking about it. I'll put it hey, in Hey, don't go away, sore. Let's talk it through. Doodle -doodle -doodle. 
Ah, oh, hi, Mom. Hey, don't get up. Here's your chili and your water. Did we win the war, son? Uh, shut up, Mom. Okay. Yep. Much action this afternoon? Get your knee up, boy. Come on. The sheriff got no patrol car. There we we'll go. Get a <laughs> tune-up job out of that. Is that night so safe out there? Well, if it decides to blow, it's not safe anywhere. Is it safe? Hmm? What are these ringing? I'll get it. Oh. That's not our ring. No, it's the sheriff's. If there's been a wreck, I get a tow job out of it. Oh, I'll try to deal wow. with the ambulance. Someone's hurt. You work all the angles, don't you, Chase? Mr. Compton, I have. He's a geometry teacher. Hello, Sheriff. Oh, yes. <laughs> what are you wearing? I'm putting my knee up right now. <laughs> Feel so dirty. There's been a wreck 12 miles out of town. Where's the wrecker? Home. Oh. I use the A frame to build a doggone rock guard. Oh. Look, you take your car and keep the city wreckers off. I'll get our wrecker and follow you. And we can clear away the wreckage of our sordid past. N Y P D. Yeah, we know you're here. There's no one else in the county, and you use your siren. <laughs> Oh, they've got this angle parking thing all wrong. See anything I can put my knee up on here, boy? I wondered who was on that party line a while ago. It cost me to get on that line with you. I figured since it was on your call station anyway, you wouldn't care. Yeah. There's a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah, gee, looks like a cat climbed up in the grill. Woof. This engine's still warm. Say, did you see the skid marks out here? They go at a direct right angle to the direction of travel. Hey, sounds like Robert Klein's yeah. around here. No digs in the macadam either. Sad, really. Somebody was hurt in here. There's blood all over the upholstery. Nothing scares you. Well, I've already doesn't. looked around. There's nobody here. Real good? Yeah, real good. Well, maybe somebody came by and picked them up. It could have been the people that called in. <laughs> no, they just said something. Nope, nope, nope. Then why didn't they wait? People will go to the trouble to report an accident, but they won't stay around. Don't want to fill out the reports. Yeah, nobody likes a lousy snitch. What do you do now? Well, I'll take the license number and the engine number. Call headquarters. Maybe they've got a line on them. Our headquarters. Hey, what are you looking at? That's official police hey, property. How are your headlights? I don't have headlights. Fine. Both of them burning? Mm hmm. How many times have I warned you about getting that headlamp fixed? About Twice. a kajillion, sir. But the first time it was just a suggestion. Seal beam only cost four dollars. Well, the I've tender headlamp. That's some unexpected thing. expenses. Oh, Missy. <laughs> yeah, the doctor said she'd be able to start walking again pretty soon, and took all the money I had to make a part down payment on her braces. Gosh, the moonlight does crazy things to your hair, sir. Well, you know, I think this is a complete washout. These folks are dead. Not much else we You're can do. You probably got a screwdriver. No, but I got a Singapore sling. Ba -boom. It's just. Oh. I don't think the insurance company has missed one of those headlamps. Yeah, that guy's not going to miss his credit cards either, you know. <laughs> hey, one, two, one, two, one. Come on, Crow Lindy. One, two, one. Oh, hey, hey, you guys quiet down. Hi, do you like to make money? Sure, we all do. Well, do you realize you hey move aside? Do you realize we might have you might have a gold mine sitting in that empty pantry or linen closet at home? Yeah, sure. Just do what I do and turn that empty closet space into a gold mine by turning it into a teen pavilion slash barber shop, just like in today's movie, The Giant Gila Monster. Woo! Solid gone, Jasper. Woo! We're freaks, Daddy. Uh, <laughs> kids, will you step, step aside?
website, you the guys in their teen lingo. You know, all you got to do is clear away some of the more hazardous cleanser, stock up on plenty of health, delicious and delicious snacks and beverages, and then tune in your prop radio into the appropriate teen dance tunes. Big finish. Yeah. Woo. Oh, you make me sweat, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Let's go get something cool and slippery from the stupid jerk. Oh, good hey, idea. stupid jerk. Tom, <laughs> it's soda jerk. Would you guys straighten up and fly <laughs> with me on this one? Come on, this is my sketch. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Pops, uh, shoot us a couple of blue Floyds. Yeah, huh? yeah. What, what's a blue Floyd? <laughs> Gravity, uh, this guy. <laughs> okay, Daddy, we'll talk you through. Okay. Uh, just put two scoops of ice cream okay, in a blender. Two, no, no, three scoops. Uh, three scoops. Uh, oh, yeah. Three okay. scoops. Extra um, three three and scoops. And some malted of, milk. Of ice Lots cream. Of yep. And okay. uh, then fill it to the top with cool menthol barbicide. Okay, yeah, and garnish with a cone. Ah, yeah. Oh, come <laughs> on, you guys. That's it. The fun time's oh, over. This hey. is my sketch. You guys never go along with me on these things. I stop. I oh, quit. Come on, no, come on, baby. Well, We're just well, fun in you. Yeah. No Such way. A, Every time you guys, the robots, come up with some half-baked idea, I try to go along with it and be supportive. But the minute Joel has an idea for a presentation, in run the baby Teddy Ruxpins and spoil everything. Okay, oh, fine. Forget. Next time you can get your precious yeah. gypsy oh, yeah. to help your you. Oh, yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. I will. Hey, Gypsy, come here. Yeah. These two, nothing but trouble. Back after this. <laughs> it hurts. It really hurts. Be quiet. Don't let it happen I'm again. Die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> It's young Jimmy Morrison as the Lizard King. Here comes Fred Sanford. I'm feeling mighty peckish. Snack time. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, sir, madam. I'd like to show you Encyclopedia Britannica if you just take a... Damn, I thought selling door to door was hard. Ooh. I just love dining al fresco. And that's the guy's name, al fresco. Oh. Can you believe it? Yeah. I can't get that tune out of my head. I don't know. The road company of death of a salesman, ladies and gentlemen. I'll eat him with relish. <laughs> Lizard jokes. <laughs> Fava beans. Well, I'll see every coop. I've been meaning to quit. Hey. It's a monoclair moment. Hey, can I bum a smoke? And for killing that salesman, you win the Samsonite luggage. Oh, have an accident? No thanks, just had one. Car was stolen out of state and the plates were stolen in state. Insured by all states. Whoever stole it is beat it, hurt or not, as long as they can navigate. I'm a poet and I don't know. Anything else I can do here, Sheriff? If not, I'll get this on back to the garage. Oh, go ahead. Chase, would you give me a hand? No, cinch up your own pants, Sheriff. You stand by him for escape. Skid marks, you're a sick man, Sheriff. Wait, that's my car! Let's see, I got tires, headlights, now if I could just get a roof. Ooh. Man, night falls fast in Tennessee. <sighs> yeah, well. well. I'm guessing a Northwest flight mm -hmm. passed overhead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, entrapment. Oh. I smell a frame up. Luggage gate. Uh, can I see your claim check, please? Yeah. Mm. Trouble, Chase? No, no, Sheriff. Take a look. Uh, that's an easy one. It's a suitcase. Probably fell off the car. No scratches on it. Well, maybe it landed in the bush. You know, a smart fella could put his knee up on such no, a thing. As soon as that mm. imitation leather is, even the bush would take some of it off. Was it just like that when you found it? Well, yeah, I angled up. it two degrees to... Probably belonged to some hitchhiker. That's a leap of faith. It might have belonged to the fella that stole that car and wrecked it. Hmm. Go ahead, pick it up, one of you. You know you wanna. Come on. Uh, say, look at this. Well, it looks like Edward Armero's been through here. I specialize in previously owned cigarette butts. Half a pack of cigarettes, <laughs> one on lint. I can't decide which one to eat. They both look so good. <laughs> that suitcase don't belong to any car thief. He was around here too long. I'll take it in. I'll put it in the car for you. Somebody will be around to claim it. See you later, son. Right, Sheriff. Son? Wait, he called me son. No wonder Mom cries when I mention the Sheriff.
You know, when I look at the human race, I gotta laugh. I got a chick peen for a brain, and I'm still smarter than they are. Go figure. I'll be right back after these words. Thirteen, thirteen, Mockingbird Lane. Oh, I'd say it looks like he's early for the panty raid on the dorm. Oh. Well, thank goodness the IHOP's still open, you know? And cake syrup for everybody. <laughs> well, it's just about time for him to put his knee Yep, <laughs> called it. How'd you call that? <laughs> Ooh la la, rooty tooty, fresh and fruity for me. Hmm? Were you putting your knee up again? Aren't that enough for you? Hey, hey you're getting dippity doing my coat. I got your phone call. When I was serving dinner to Mr. Willow, he became very angry. He said, if I saw you again, you would have me sent back to France. He can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. He's my sponsor. He put up the bond. That was to guarantee that you wouldn't become a ward of the state. Bert Ward? No, we don't have to worry about that. You know how to speak English well enough to get a job anywhere. Yeah, maybe at a 7-Eleven. Oh. What's he more about? Nothing. I don't want to go away, Chick. Oh, yeah, I do, honey. <clears throat> we think it's your fault that Pat ran away. Well, can think whatever he wants to think. Shouldn't take it out Here, let's go rent the errand boy. But we hadn't better take any chances. You go back inside. And look, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. What the? French people sure do kiss funny. Mm -hmm. Transportation service provided by Kennedy Limousine. We get you there safe or we don't pay. In Hannesport and Palm Beach. It's a speed bump with a tongue! Wow. He's an excellent driver. <laughs> Definitely an excellent driver. He's not wearing his underwear. <laughs> Man, I've been following you around for days, just hoping you might need a tow job. Yes, yes. You all right? All right. Uh, all right. I'm great. Here, wait a minute. I'll let you look yes. at me full size. I'm superb. Seven <laughs> to a box, no corners. I'm a round house. Hmm? Is there an I interpreter in there with you? Smith. Horatio Potato Alger. head. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you can call me sugar lumps. How'd you get in the ditch? You fall asleep? Oh, no, no, no. There was, uh, <laughs> there was this big pink and black thing drove right in uh -huh. front of me. It had stripes this wide. Yeah. Sure. Alcoholism oh, sure is a hoot. And I'll get your car out. Okay, that sounds like... You know me, know me, baby. Yeah. Lean. Get me up here. Yeah. What's he doing? Hey. Fender's cutting the wheel. Sure I can. The motor works, see? But thanks for everything, Dad. You're a cotton-picking friend. <laughs> okay, just a second. I'll get out of the way. We thought it would be funny to make a hopeless drunk try to drive a car while it's hooked to a tow truck. Let's watch. What is it? It's the State Farm Come Insurance on, scene. You like it? This scene is funny. <laughs> Wide track tires stabilize your ride. What is it now? Oh, that's the Amco theme. That's even better. Steering wheel won't work. Okay. <laughs> <You take laughs> this this strikes me as humorous. Mm -hmm. How can he drive when he's hooked up to a tow truck? The whole concept strikes me as absurd. I'm driving. I can't say fair returns. Get these spiders off me! <laughs> Rhythm, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, Jimmy, I hate a cappella. Oh, so that's who I am. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Say. I think I'll take after him with that hammer. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. 
Mr. Smith. Did I do something last night? I'm not going like to be proud. Guys have had their heads chopped off for less than that. For what? For singing and singing and singing and singing and singing. It's all gone good when I feel so bad. How'd I get here anyway? I told you in this morning, remember? I told Where, you, but I, I left the car. I camera. remember very, very little. Uh, but don't There's worry, you're a perfect gentleman. I haven't seen any other cars. How'd you ever get me in that bed anyway? Who was your cologne? I carried you in there <laughs> and I sat on you till you fell asleep. Oh, wow. That must have been quite a chore. You wouldn't have gotten very far in your condition. It was fun. I didn't well, mind. I really appreciate it. Um, Chase Winstead. Chase. Hey. And I, uh, my golly, how much I owe you? Well, I bent the fender out from the wheel. You want me to fill it in and touch it up for you? Uh, you've touched no, it. No, I don't think Chase. so. I'll uh, get that done when I get back to the city. You Here, some coffee. Oh, great. How about two bucks? Two bucks? That's outrageous. I'm not paying. Man, this coffee's worth two bucks all by itself. How about the toe? No, I was coming this way anyway. I missed out on a little studying time. Make it three bucks. Kid, you're dumber than a bag That's of hammers. School. Sort of. I take a correspondence course in engineering. Leg up. Mine City well, Votech. I really feel indebted to you, and I'd like to do something to pay you back. Now, next time you're in the town, there's my card. Look me up, will you? Right. Will do. Okay. On, oh, by the way. Uh, here's the Denny's coupon. Good any time after midnight. Enjoy. Buy yourself a sponge rubber hammer, man. <laughs> All right, I will. I'll see you, Chase. Hammer yeah, man. Thank you. No, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, no, please, thank you. No. Steamroller Smith, the disc jockey. Hey, I love your morning <laughs> show, especially when you make goofy phone calls to celebrities. <laughs> 220. That makes thirty dollars. Wow. <laughs> well, she swings whenever she sings, whenever she sings. Blah blah da da dee da. Bum, bum. Mm. Sheriff? I think How you're seeing too much of me. Have you heard anything from Pat and Liz? No, nothing. Nope. Chase, I'm in a jam, and I need your help. Wheeler swings a big enough stick in this country to make it rough, and he's doing it. Are you looking on a different script, Oh, Sheriff? I can understand his concern about Pat. But I just don't have a big enough force to comb this area inch by inch. Hmm. Is he demanding that? There was a man killed in a wreck in a small canyon in a big city last year. And it took them 19 days to find him. I don't know what they expect of me. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I love your defeatist attitude. Look, Sheriff, maybe I can get tomorrow off and... I'll get the gang and we can go out and search that pass. At least you can put that in your report. And smoke uh, I was it. hoping you'd say that. I can start at the upper end and work towards you. Uh, can I have your help in another matter? Sure. What? You remember how those skid marks just went at right angles to the direction the car was Hey, would you drop the skid marks? <laughs> really? Headquarters think I'm nuts. Well, then they're nuts. Headquarters be right. Didn't, yeah. didn't you send them that picture? Well, I'm not the world's greatest photographer. The pictures <laughs> didn't come out. Can't see the skid marks on the black. Would you forget the skid marks? Well, that's what happened. I even wiped up the rubber dust with my fingers. Okay. You might have to sign a statement to that effect for me. You got it. Look, you can even see the bald spots on the tires where they went sideways. Oh, don't say yeah. bald spot. I'm sensitive. That's spot, all right. But there's another thing that puzzles me. How we yeah, what? What's the appeal? How those tires got off of that car. And almost Come on, yours. don't tease us. Put your legs well, look, up. You on, know on you want to. On they'd rot. And on my, on my rod, they could prevent a blowout. Maybe even an accident. Travolta in blowout. Well, take good care of them in case the owner shows up. Right. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Right. <laughs> what a dink. Hey, what gives? We were gonna make out here. Let's go over today. We've covered half the roads in this county. Hello, I'm Larry yeah. Miller. How are you? How about that ravine? That runs along here for about eight miles. Gee, we we'll could really pan out the movie with that ravine. Yeah. All right. As long as I get to be right. Ty Andrews. No, we've decided you're already Larry Miller. Oh. Sing whatever and eat the teens are singing and the little little nymphs. I'm your boyfriend now. 
telling how does that go? Sing when you sling with everything. It's close. Oh, never mind. Hey, honey, Spalding Grace performing Monster in a Box down here. No, really? Oh, I'm big, I'm really big. There's no way to describe just how enormous, but thanks for your patronage. Enjoy this next upcoming event from Hot West. Enjoy. Honest, they built a fort down here and everything, dear. Bros popping. Hey, cut that out. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, that'll hurt. Mm -hmm. See, honey, all this could be yours. Sure is beat down around. Yep. Yep. Look at that. What is it, Chef? It's a bridge. Looks like an animal of some sort. Taylor Drug bridge. something along here. You mean a wild animal here? Sure, could be anything, even a mountain lion. Meow. Oh, come on. Kitty cat. Now that was a huge log I was hauling earlier. I'm very immense and huge, believe me. Thanks a lot. And enjoy the rest of the show and head out to the lobby and enjoy a delicious bonbon. Bonbon? I don't make this noise myself, folks. It's called Foley. I'll be back later with another fun fact. Thanks and enjoy. Hey, he put on a little weight for the role, just like De Niro. No, that is De Niro. He's dedicated. Mm -hmm. Very, very dedicated. He's cute. <laughs> yes, but haven't we gone far enough, Chase? Ah, uh, don't drink that. That's my urine. I don't even do that. Ooh, that's bitter. What do you expect? That's an awful lot of mineral in it. Uh, Come on, please? let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Take a breather first. Chase, I... He's doing a I Gap commercial. Like let's go back. Are you afraid? Now you come on over here with me. Shade and all that. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh. I like to watch. <laughs> no, do it like this. <laughs> come on, let's go already. These kids today, I tell you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, gang, I drank lizard urine. Ooh. It's Pat's car at the bottom of the wash. Hmm? Two or three miles back by the old reservoir. Were they in it? No, nothing. So, you called us up for that? Uh, so drive me back to my car. Gee. I'll bring up the record. Did I ever tell you about the six levels of drinking? It's no. really fascinating. <laughs> Hello, Crow. Hey, hey, hey. Hiya, Tom. Hiya, Mr. Day here. Hey, look at me. Crazy Guggenheim. I'm one of the truly funny drunks. You know, you just don't see comical drunks like the one in this week's experiment anymore, do you? What happened? When did public intoxication stop being funny? Well, I think the 60s were kind of the golden age of the funny drunk. Remember Otis? from Mayberry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sandy. I'll just let myself into the jail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, okay. what about Dean Martin? He was really funny oh, when he yeah. was drunk, well, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he was also very cool. You know, I think it would be oh, yeah. a good idea I'll if we cool. each did our kind of favorite funny drunk. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, me yeah. first, me first. Okay. okay. Uh, I got one already. Uh, right. I, I'm going to be the guy who calls you, uh, who gets really drunk, calls you at 3 in the morning and tells you what a good friend you are. Okay. Oh, Joel, help me out on this. You can do the guy on the other end of the phone. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hello? Hi, you know what, man? You're a really good friend. <laughs> no, really, I mean it, you're a good friend. I love you, man. I love you. You're a beautiful person, man. Yeah, I admire well, you. Uh, you made something phone, of right? yourself, man. Joel? You got uh, out of Joel? this town. I think that's great, man. Joel, I bail me out, buddy. Out that's very nice, Chris. Crow, 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 that's oh, very good. Very, very, very funny, very funny, Crow, and very poignant. Very bittersweet. Tom, you want to do yours? Well, I'm going to be everybody's favorite funny drunk. I'm going to be the life of the party on New Year's Eve, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just imagine now, get this, I have either a lampshade or a fez, perhaps, on my head there, huh? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hey, everybody, it's almost midnight. <laughs> Guess I'll see you next year. <laughs> oh, my God, my only friend is having a stroke. Oh, Tommy, Tommy. <laughs>
You guys, stop it. This isn't funny anymore. Uh, guys, I, did we just uh, do an after-school special here? Well, I don't think so. I haven't seen Scott Bale on the premises. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, actually, since we've moved into that genre, I think it's time to do the pointy and thoughtful ending, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. Rarely have we seen a person fail who, who has, has thoroughly, thoroughly followed, followed our path. path. Our, Our stories disclose in a general way what happened, what we were like, and what we are like now. We got stories! What's this guy doing? No, 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 no. The steering wheel's on the other side. What are you, from Europe or something? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Should I go backwards? Go ahead. Um, go ahead. I thought you said go backwards. That's right, go ahead. Give it some more. Um, oh, yes. But should I go left? Right. Tell me, should I go left? Right. That's what I'm asking! Right! Sunday. No left! Ladies and gentlemen, join us next week for another edition of Abbott and Costello Playhouse. <laughs> Good one, girl. Folks, I tried to get them to rewrite this scene. Next time, I'll insist on Final Cut. Enjoy my special spring project. Roll it over on us now! <laughs> hey, you really get a sense of where that monster is, don't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. I'll be using this condescending tone till the mid '70s. Yeah. yeah, we'll meet you back at the garage, okay? Okay, let's go, Jenny. Can't that woman use a door? I sing whenever. Oh no, I'm doing it all. Yeah. Like a cheese shredder. Well, I'm getting really hungry. I've got to stop letting them get away, folks. Until next time, good night and God bless. So the entire town revolves around the towing business. Mm -hmm. Yep, pretty much. See you later. He sings whenever he sings whenever he sings. Ah, oh, forget it. Hi, you guys fixing cars? Can I hang around some? Where did you find it? By the reservoir and Williams Wash? They weren't in it. No sign of blood or anything. Neat. No, I think they were thrown clear. Did you search the area? Oh, yeah, isn't that your went job? down the ravine for about a mile and oh, we looked beyond the wreck for a couple hundred yards. Wouldn't you say, Gordy? At least that far. Did you see any footprints? No, none. Looks like Ty Andrews in the middle there. I don't know what's Larry this Miller. Been Larry Miller, about huh? the same as that sedan. Like a Smith hit with a 10-ton rubber mount. Is it a fantasy of yours here? trip down that cliff that could have done it. Yeah. I'll have to go over that area with a rake. You are a rake. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking, if, if Liz and Pat had have eloped, they wouldn't have taken his car. His old man Wheeler would have it traced right off. Mm -hmm. well, well, maybe he stored it, Chase, and then it was stolen. Larry Miller, ladies and gentlemen. If it was stolen, somebody parked it there. Well, the brakes could have faded and it rolled off the edge. It would be a strange coincidence if they came back to this part of the county. Yep. Possibility makes some sense, though. Yep. I'll get my gear and dust for fingerprints. Oh, Rochester, will you dust the truck? Gosh, I wish you boys had called me before you drug it out. I might have found some clues to help us out. Yeah, <laughs> like you could find a clue. <laughs> the hard part's telling Mr. Wheeler. I sure dread that. It's not like we found them there. Nope. He's sure gonna raise Ned, because I didn't find this wreck sooner. Uh, Ned? Raise Ned? Where's Mr. Condon? Oh, he went down to the field with a load of fuel oil. Back in two or three hours. I'm gonna close up. I'll see you later. I know, I know. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Real change, folks. It's the wages of fear. 
But I sing whenever I sing whenever she sings. <laughs> ah. Whoa! Wow, the first cool thing in the movie! I just know I'm gonna take the blame for this, and I wasn't even close. Meanwhile, back at the Joad house. To make off. you mean. Sorry, I'm late. Just a minute, not so fast there. Oh, what for? Oh. Clean right guard, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever play football? With the Green Bay Packers. I. <laughs> Oh, that's not right, picking up your mom and playing no, football with her. That's wrong. All right, Crazy people. <laughs> Oedipus, you put me down. You poke your eyes out. Keep them closed. Uh-oh. Look what Lisa got me. Oh. Hey there, Chase. <laughs> Talking at the heartstrings. This isn't fair. No. <laughs> uh, I thought you meant braces on your teeth, honey. No. <laughs> oh, take them back. They don't That's work. Okay. I can get up. No. This is so tender. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh. I can't. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, the brace has shorted out the house. No. <laughs> that was wonderful, baby. Just wonderful. I've been practicing all afternoon. Ever since Lisa brought the braces over and then walked all the way twice, I want to do it right for you. Uh -huh. That's neat. Who's your friend? Okay, back in the case. Silly chatterbox, they're on the wrong feet. There was a mushroom. Wait, it's Rafi. Sad Here little mushroom. There was he really a did come with a banjo on his knee. Ready to cry. There was a sparrow. I'm gonna go sparrow. listen to my cat scream. There was an eagle. There was a tow truck operator who couldn't sing to save his life. Tiptoe through the tulips. The Lord said laugh. Children laugh. The Lord said laugh. Children laugh. The Lord said laugh. Laugh, laugh. And Ouch. The Lord tough room. She's trying to wish him into the cornfield right now. And all that is left to complete the joy. If it Just wasn't for the blue tail fire, fire. Hey, you could crack corn. Okay. okay. I have to smile as my brother. And there was a garden. Hmm? I got a fast hug. Beautiful garden. Always oh, improvising arms. now. Of a world without joy. Hey, thanks for cheering us up. And then there was laughter. Well, we assume that. Wonderful man. laughter. For he created. Boy, you know, I just love a Sammy Conner. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, Oh, laugh. This is the Chapin brother they don't talk about. Yeah. I'm gonna kill him! <laughs> Whoa, he's going into his head voice. Yep, smells like teen spirit. Mm -hmm. Take it home, brother. Please. <gasps> no, not the coda! No! Oh, no. Oh, that's real nice, but it doesn't help my legs. Laughing's important, isn't it, Chase? Oh, it sure is. I... And you know, I never felt any more like laughing than I do right Thanks now. a lot. I didn't think you'd be able to do that good in a week. Didn't you really? Honest, but you know, you're going to have to work real hard. And you mustn't be disappointed if it takes a long time, okay? Now, Scram, I got a dame here. Too bit. Do I have to, Chase? You sure do. Yep. Show me how you can walk. Get out before he starts playing again. <laughs> you little, little grandstander, you. <laughs> you gotta love her. Don't ever sing that song again. It was a wonderful thing for you to do, Lisa. I wanted to. Now you're broke, aren't you? No, but my spirit is. Pops gonna pick him up in the morning. 
I know. When you showed me that money, I was afraid you'd get this present. Well, I'm still going to pay you for it. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hello. How are yeah. things at headquarters? Well, you should have been back an hour ago. Hmm? He's phoning in his no. lines. Where? That's awful. No, it couldn't be Mr. Comp. You don't say. All right. Uh, you don't say. At the garage? All right, I'm leaving now. You don't say. What is it? Chief? He didn't say. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Oh. Honey, I'm awfully sorry, but I've got to leave. Hide the flask. Come on. Right. Wait a minute, Sheriff. You got a sore foot. Oh, sorry. Right. Gotta shoot him. Oh. Take my model A's, you old shiny brother. Shut, Shut up, cookie on, pants. Get in. in. No, I didn't see it, but I sure heard about it. Can I open this thing up? No, yeah, but I'm excited. Check your rims. Let's get going. What's new to the next scene down at the gay ride? Hey, on three, let's throw the old guy out, huh? Ready? One, two. Oh, we're here already. Chinese fire drill, everybody out. Ah, geez, absolutely no salvage with this one. Ah, look at the poor guy. Hmm, let's stick some cloves in him. Hmm. Tires look good. Hmm. Be careful, it's pretty hot. He's not in it. He may have been hurt and crawled away. Sheriff, let's face the around. fact, the guy's Come dead. On, okay. Thompson! Thompson! Just look for a burning guy. Find anything, Sheriff? Well, let's go over this again. Uh -oh. How did you get in the act? Well, here comes the vaudeville routine. Well, tell me again. What's on second? Well, I was barreling along in my model A. She don't look like much now, but she used a beauty when I first the got accident. in. The accident. Well, go, go. Get up to 60. The accident. Yes, the accident. Just the facts, ma'am. Well, I'll tell you. I wish you would. What's this on second? i seen the headlights coming up the grave towards you. And all of a sudden, they come in to go and... These two are just glowing, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, she blew up. Well, he seen somebody is in a mite of trouble, so uh, he come in the store talking about it. That's when I offered to call you. Yep. You got Don't ever touch me. No. Did he see anything else? Nope. Nope. Can you see me? You want to wait in the car for us? No. Nope. Is there Where a point to your little anyway? story? Hey, okay, Sheriff, okay. Let's just say all the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm hungry. Oh, now here comes Zeppo. Oh, nothing. Here comes this guy. Cotton and Liz might have eloped. about? The Compton ought to be around here. Maybe he's in the hospital. No. I checked there before I left my place. Would Compton have any reason to want to get lost? <laughs> no, none that I can think of. You would have no reason to know about this, but there's been a lot of livestock missing lately. Another One plot? Here. Oh, oh man! That doesn't make headlines, but now it's people. Mm -hmm. You think there's a tie-up? I don't know. What we need is a criminal investigator, and headquarters won't send one Do we maybe have a sheriff in the vicinity? Well, maybe they will now. Yeah, maybe. Did you notice those skid marks? Would Just you like forget, forget the, the skid, skid marks? marks? They've been hit by another vehicle. The paint would be knocked off. What batters a car around like it was a toy? My wife, to come out, everybody! <laughs> Enjoy the meal! That's <laughs> Bart coming along for the party. All right. I mean, by the way, the stove's so. on. Say, you and Chase sure got off light. You took off this morning. you just been sitting around here on your can all day long. That barn was a place to clean. You get the high five set up? Yeah. Well, you steamboats, dreamboats, that's the steamroller. Steam on another session of the old steamroller here at KILT. Uh, any of you round rocks get can't most stand that voice. teen slang. Turn I'll to Paul Harvey. I'll be emptying a tonight out of Harvey Hayes' barn on Route 43. Drop in. I'll flatten you. Whoop. Hey, man, that's us. We got the steamroller coming out. That's where Chase has been all day. We're getting steamrolled. This will be a blast. How about that guy? Man, was the Richard Speck a popular haircut back mm. then? Other doors jammed.
See, that's why it's got it. I love that door. Really works well. Mm -hmm. Hey, little man, you sure had a busy day. Yeah, you had a paint job and Steamroller Smith. Snuffy Smith? Now, how'd you guys find out about Steamroller Smith? Well, he just said so on his program. Said it right out on the network. Yep. Oh, I wanted it to be a surprise. Well, come on, don't spread it around, huh? Yeah, wash your hands. Really? How are the preparations coming? Oh, that'll be finished about 45 minutes. The gang won't start arriving from... No, no, that's 30, wait. Oh. We're under the wire with time to spare. No sweat. We now return to Three Jacks and a Jill. Mm, good, he's gonna get it. Oh, and he's drinking turtle wax. Oh. Ooh. Oh, Headed to Obar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate the ground you oh, walked no. on, this little darling. For all them things that you have did to me. <laughs> Oh, you nag me till you Jones, ladies and gentlemen. I know you feel bad, Mr. Gower. Please kill him, please. Good. Things make sense when you're all liquored up. It's fun. Clipper chief. Come on, Cassie Bell. That's good. Stupid man, more powerful than an Oki motive. Oh, 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 I've seen this. Now, this is the last scene from Crazy Larry and Dirty Mary, remember? Uh, huh? Home alone. Oh. oh well, look out, everybody, there's a forked tongue in the road. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that's me. I did that, sorry. Billy go, Billy go, get off my bridge. <laughs> it's the soul dream. Ooh. Three. We're traveling on the engine on the Happy the Day Express. Express. The letters on the engine say J E S U S. Mmm, I like butter. Look, my chin's yellow. No, 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 that means I like butter. No, 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 no. Why is he driving in a riverbed? It's me. Hey, look, a hand what? up there. <laughs> <laughs> the director, folks. Ooh. <gasps> Nope, didn't see it. Never saw it. Nope, nope. Not gonna get involved. <laughs> Wanna act like I'm in New York City. <laughs> Turn around, get the heck out of here. Nope, bye, Nick. Nope. <laughs> Where's the dining car? <laughs> hey, there's meat on the inside. <laughs> Barbecue. Oh, I don't know where to begin. It all looks so good. <laughs> Faba beans. Something real strange must have happened. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up oh, and yeah, dial yeah. again. You'll be handy if you want him. Yep, yeah, I'm right. rubbing my belly right now. Sit down, Harris. Ah, oh, Cramity, pull up your <gasps> pants and sit down. <laughs> yeah, watch the feet. Uh. Oh, you be going down to the wreck, Sheriff? No, that's not my territory. What is your territory? I have a report. The troopers will take care of that. Harris, tell me again about the train. Well, well, the wreck of the old old nine. I was nine. Wrong, like in my model A. Bought it in 32 for six. Just a minute, just a minute. I asked you what time it is, and you tell me how to build a clock. <laughs> just the facts about the wreck. You got well, me. I was driving along quite like in yeah. the wreck. <laughs> then I turned around and come back down here and told you about it. <laughs> Give me your keys, Harris. Key. Hey. What for? You're spinning a yarn like that and driving while drunk. Room 310, I'll be there after that. I have a man to sober test. That does it. Go like yourself, Maria. Yeah, you're under arrest. I have a man to sober test because I ain't been drinking. <coughs> Thank you, Senator. Your statement has been duly noted. Police has not heavy. Out, baby. Out, out, out. Whatever you think's right. Which way is the step? Which way? 
Can't you see what you're doing to me? Can't win them all, can't you? We haven't met before. Is this oh, your bottle? Wife. You want a hat? Amazing. What? That's the only wife I need. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ooh. Well, nothing wrong with me having a bit. A little tittle here. Ugh, blue cheese flavored vodka. What do you mean topsoil's gone? What do you mean they moved? Well, Ma. Lisa, I'm home. My baby, she rocks. No! no! Rocks whenever she talks. My baby, she rocks. took a bite out of that doily. Hey, I'm joining the home? circus. I'm going to spend the night with the Blackwell. Mama said it was all right. Will you take me over? Well, I don't know, Missy. Gosh, that's two or three miles out. Before she couldn't walk, now she's hauling furniture. Oh, sure. Kid dipping. Yeah. What that's in the world has she done to that car of yours? It's a new fuel mixture. You like it? I just barely touched the gas pedal and back wheel started to spin. Well, I oh, was Mom, two blocks the pizza? down the road before I even knew I'd left home. Come on, Mom. I'm just trying to make a hot rodder out of you. Hmm? Hey, it's Oedipus on wheels. Okay. What, is there a phone on every wall? <laughs> hello. Yeah, hello, Sheriff. A what? Look on reptile. Sheriff, you're breathing all funny. I still have it around here somewhere. Yeah, sure. Got your leg up? I have to take Missy over by the Blackwells. I'll stop by on my way to pick up Lisa. Okay? Okay. He's a queer duck. Mm -hmm. Well, now I'm going to tell you something you don't know. Your mother's a guy. I've been talking to a zoologist. And the Gila monster's size is controlled uh, say, like everything else fellas. by a sort of a mm -hmm. thyroid or pituitary gland. Sometimes a change in diet can throw the balance all out of whack. Hmm. Either the cells break down too fast or build up too slow. I got the problem the too. Mm. makes either runts or giants out of it. Good, but what's that mean to me? Uh, Trouble. To that. Mm. The zoologist also told me about a, a doctor who just found the bones of some huge animals down in Tangayika. Mm -hmm. And the theory was that uh, they lived in kind of river delta. You're really deep. Certain salts had washed into the valley, then absorbed by the plants, and then transferred to the animals, causing them to be giants. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I, yeah, I know. I probably sound a little bit like Harris, but yeah. let me tell the whole thing in my own words. Norman Rockwell, Sheriff. There was another report out of Russia or the Ukraine. Or Brazil or something. It was in the paper a couple of months ago. Maybe you saw it about a baby that weighed 130 pounds when it was 10 months old and was taller than its mother? What, you think I'm illiterate? I read the Enquirer. Supposed to be a giant. Yeah, and that same thing could happen right here. Did you see any footprints around any of those wrecks? Well, Glenn is 50 feet tall. No. Gila monster footprints? Yeah, a big one, about the size of a bus. Lonnie Anderson's oh, bus? On. Are you serious? So sorry. Well, I'm in know. shame. Mm -hmm. Harris saw it, and some of the survivors of the train wreck saw it. A giant lizard. Train wreck? Where? At the what, bridge ten over people Wilson's in this Lord. town and there's no great When? Plan? Tonight, about an hour ago. Why? The troopers were inclined to pass it off as shock or optical illusion. And you can't always believe what Harris said. Oh. I'll just let him ramble before I chop him off at the Pink knees. And black stripes. Could be that peyote no, I No, I told a guy out. in the other day. He said he'd been forced off the road by something like that. I didn't believe him because he'd been drinking. We've all been drinking. And another thing, when we were looking for Pat's car, we saw where something had been drugged down the wash. Hmm? You know, if they could have gotten that big, then they could have I can get that big. Off that road. Hmm. They could have gotten him. Oh, my thinker hurts. Uh, don't look at those; they're not real. I shouldn't have told you about this until after the party, but I just thought you'd want to know. Hadn't we better warn everybody? No. Nah, that would be telling. It operates in and around the wash. Troopers have got that staked out for a couple of miles. Just keep it to yourself. It might cause panic. Okay, Sheriff, whatever you say. If I don't tell, I'll just bust. Man, forget it for now and have some fun, will you, boy? Yeah, sorry about the train wreck. Go enjoy yourself. Live the high life, you know? Oh, it's the annual fire hazard dance. Cool. Oh, heck, and we're gonna miss the barn raisin. Shame, really. Do in the butt. Tow truck driver got a big old butt. Do in the butt.
Well, hello. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm your host, Thomas Servo, and this is Servo on Cinema. This week, director Ray Kellogg. Ray Kellogg, uh, of course, was... Uh, excuse me, Tom. Uh, we've what? only got the one camera cam bot, okay? Oh, <clears throat> of course. Thank you. <clears throat> Ray Kellogg. Much like his good friend Orson Welles, Kellogg's career was short-circuited by his enormous ego and his difficulties in holding to a budget. For example, in today's film, The Gila Monster Effect, achieved with the use of a normal-sized Gila Monster and detailed sets filled with twigs and matchbox cars, and it was enormously expensive, and there was virtually no money left for blocking. But uh, Kellogg... Excuse being me. A... Don't, don't you think you should say a word to the audience about what blocking is, maybe? Hey, don't mind me. It's only my... My show. Well, good. I'm glad well, you said that. People of Earth, blocking is a technique used by directors to tell his actors where to stand or maybe what to do with their bodies. Hey, yeah, like in today's film. Uh, you'll excuse me, Tom. Sure, fine. Well, the director just had the actors put their legs up on everything. I was getting to that. You see, it's called the leg up position. Maybe the and leg up position is cheap, but for Pete's sake, they're unrelenting. They put their legs up on pipes, stop on it. benches, Joel, on Joel, edges. Stop. 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 Really? Stop. 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 This is his thing, you know? So. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Joel. Beat it, buddy. <clears throat> well, I thank you. Without further ado, a short film by Cambot, a tribute to the blocking techniques of director Ray Kellogg, known for the firmness of his leg up position. Suitcases on each other. <laughs> <Whoa! laughs> Have you seen Point Break yet? Oh, no, but I understand Swayze does just about all his own stunts. Yep, 100% pure adrenaline. What about next to Kim? I love that, the arrow shooting sequence. I didn't like Ghost too much. Jeez, what the hell? I hold it! Hold it on, you got to be! It was fun. Now, I got a surprise for you. We got the king of the DJ. Oh, man, I hate it when seniors now, keep coming back. Show on KILT. That's right. Yeah, we're going to do a nutty wake-up call to Marty Ingalls. <laughs> Seagull, everybody, Seagull. Okay, okay, your old dad here has some small words and some great records. I want you to have a ball tonight. Let's begin with one of the top kilt survey songs. What do you say now? Let's everybody dance. Here we go. No. This guy really earns a salary, doesn't he? Shake, shake, shake your forbidden parts. Woo! Oh, yeah. When the caddy's rocking, don't bother knocking. Mm -hmm. Conrad Bain. Now, do you mind telling me what this is all about? Have you been down to the train wreck? No, I'm a sheriff. What would I be down there for? I talked to a trooper about my son's car. What, he's selling his kid's car already? It shouldn't have been moved until a thorough investigation had been made, and it had been photographed. Wait a minute, Conrad. You're wearing pants under that coat? It wasn't done, was it, Sheriff? I thought not. It was removed and clues lost without authority. Hmm. You didn't put that in your report, did you, Sheriff? Duh, huh? Of course you did. And I'll tell you why. your Earl Warren. You yeah. were protecting that Chase Winston. Covering him, regardless of the effect it might have on others. Chase Winston's a real booster. Chase was only trying to help. He's your son's friend. Probably the best one he ever had. Of course it wasn't in the report. What good would it do? Nobody reads those things. Any kid can make a mistake, Mr. Wheeler, even yours. But, Sheriff, it's my son that's missing. Oh, throw that one up at me. Twist the knife, why don't you? Let me Ouch. ask you something else. Are you a real sheriff? Have you heard the reports about a giant lizard? Yep, out of my jurisdiction. You believe him? I don't know, Mr. Wheeler. Doesn't seem possible. You? Well, why not? There have been giants before. There might be giants. But how could anything that big go unnoticed in this area? Have you ever walked the length of Williams Wash? No. Not uh, naked. You know anybody that has? No. That area is so choked with underbrush, it isn't even good hunting ground. And I say it is possible for a giant lizard to have lived there for years without being seen. Well, you're high, Conrad. No. 
This guy is like a puppet made by Sid and Marty Croft. He hardly moves. Yep. So is Compton. I can't blame you for what's happened to Pat, but Compton's death is on your hands. How did you come to that conclusion? I'll tell you how. I thought this it, I truck thought was found it. only two miles beyond Pat's car. And if you'd investigated that area thoroughly, as you're paid to do, Compton might not have died. Oh, quit finding me. Well, now come out here. I want to show you something else. Uh oh. You call this fixed? Now, something may have hit this car, but it didn't take the tires off. Hmm. And where did those new white sidewalls on Chase Winston's hot rod come from? Uh, the lizard ruined the chop shop? There was a tow in charge against He it. presumed the bill wouldn't be paid, so he borrowed the tires in the meantime. Perhaps. Uh -oh. That's thievery. Destroying evidence, obstructing justice. Now, your last official act of office will be to arrest that boy and bring him in. And I'll go There's along to make sure gesture that he's again. Done. Hmm. You got me on that one. It sounds like a slow version of these boots are made for walking. Are you ready to walk, boots? Oh, I hate my life. It's... Uh, it's uh, Carson Pyre. Charo is playing. You mean Charo in charge? <laughs> yeah. Barnaby Jones, epilogue. It's a teen growth fest. <sighs> hey, the wallflower's here. <laughs> now, who invited King Curtis? Must be related to the producer Ken Curtis. Hey, kids, a fellow dropped in over KILT the other day. He offered me Coke to play his record. Great new song. I thought it was just fine. I want to play it for you. We got a little pickup uh, group together and cut a demo disc on it. I want to play it for you now and see what you think about it. Yeah, it'll really make By you way, want to gyrate. the first person who identifies the singer on the record gets two free rides on my elephant in Bangkok, Siam. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. But you got to pay your own way over there and back. Oh, Ooh, the stinger. Oh. Ouch. Now, see what you think of it. <laughs> It's the Ann Warwick. Dead Kennedys? No, it's a 1910 uh, Fruit Gum Factory. Drugs up there? No, no, nothing <laughs> like that. No, they do Ty Andrews dancing up a storm. Oh, that's Larry Miller. Larry Miller. Oh. Larry Miller. No. Oh, hey, there's Jessica Tandy back uh, in the back there. She's dandy. <laughs> Hey, don't rush the stage. Get out of your car and feathers yet. I'm going to play the rest of it. How do you like it? Uh, it's got a good beat and it's easy to okay, dance to. The singer? Elvis. David Soul. John Travolta. Elvis. Johnny Rivers. Art Garfunkel. Terrence Trent Darby. Johnny Thunders. Look, the same guy you hear singing on the record also wrote the song. Now, now, who is he? Does anybody know? Mm -hmm. uh, Bobby Goldsboro. Okay, okay. okay. Gonna come out on records in a couple of months, and you can find his name on the label. Oh, oh we can't read. Oh, come on. Oh, we did. Oh, 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The other day, Chase played me another little song. It's kind of different from this one. Different. But I imagine with a little coaxing, you know, by hitting your hands together like this, you might give you a little preview of it. What do you say? Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> yeah. Clapping. Yeah, you should have washed it in cold water. It's a personal pan banjo. And the Lord said, to the Lord said, Tiptoe through the tulips. The Lord said, Lord said, Hey, uh, see if you can get your gun back from the bouncer. Children laugh. The Lord said laugh. Children laugh. The Lord said laugh. Children laugh. <laughs> and the Lord said, taste my lizard steel. Tonight on Night Gallery, Lillian Hellman, Edward R. Murrow, and I will sneak a smoke behind the barn. I'd say music hath charms to annoy a savage beast. So, Sheriff, ready to do she do? <laughs> Matchbox. Save them. Oh, there's Hot them Wheels. Corgis, maybe. Sizzlers. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Boy, you brought the party to a complete halt. I'm guessing this is the extended boredom mix. Okay, just blend in. We're from the committee to keep rock and roll white. It gets better. I just want to know if the Lord said it this many times in a row. Well, that's why the that Deuteronomy so long. Oh. Die, children, die. La, 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 la. <laughs> hey, I forgot to stamp my hand. <laughs> Ouch, quit pushing back there. Ah. Need a barn to fall on me. Uh, Margot Hemingway in lipstick. Yeah, I'm going back to Jurassic Park. Ah, fooey on you, crummy townspeople. Ah. Well, he plumb crawled out of my jurisdiction. What did I take to stop that thing? I don't know, but I'm going down to the train wreck and get some troopers. If we pump enough lead into that thing, we may hit a vulnerable spot. Don't well, you're gonna have to you give me a hand. But how? Keep these kids here. I don't want anybody roaming around. Hey. Where are we going? Hey, well, Whoa, rebels. Sorry, I'm I've got a nine rebels. Minute Look at him rip off there. Look at him go. You've been after this. Now you've got it. He did me. Listen, kids. Winner's my deputy. You'll take your orders from him. Hmm. Arrest anybody that tries to get away. One hour deputizing. <laughs> All right, you're arrested. The sheriff says this is a place to stay. Well, we're not staying here. That's right. I'll have to arrest anyone that leaves. No, we leave here. Now let's do the serenity prayer. Lord, please help me to accept the... We now return to Bearcats with Rod Taylor and Dennis Cole. We'll try reasoning with them. Oh, it's everything you said it was and more. Take these keys and wait inside the office till I get back. Uh, what type of kid? You want a sandwich? A uh, Stuart sandwich? Microwave burrito? Uh, bagel dog? Mom, how'd you get the knot untied? I leave the door open. Let me see light. I told you to wait inside. Why don't you do what I tell you? I haven't got much time. You're not going to leave me, Chet. I'm going to help. You know what's in here? Nitroglycerin, enough to blow up half this town. <gasps> it doesn't matter. I'm still going to help. But she can speak English all of a sudden. All right. Now take these, hold them, and don't let them bump. And for heaven's sakes, don't drop. Mom, I'll be back later to muck you out, OK? Mom, please leave the light on. Oh, it's the other leading brand of nitro. Mm -hmm. Now hold those. Hey, Joel, now he's driving a nitro-burning funny car. Oh. <laughs> Left, no, wait, no, no. <laughs> so how do you like Berkeley? This is Gila country, you beware. No, it's the field. With Richard Boy, Ferris. You got here, all right. Now they generally travel in a straight line. Oh, Unless they're good. hammered. Good Lord, he's hit Ooh. the black ball hole. That's where Missy is. What does the Lord say about that? This is Rockwell. Can Gila come out and play? <laughs> oh, this is the Asher house. He, house. he thinks he went all the way through. Don't you know me? We're cutting nitro. We're cutting across. 
Fasten your seatbelts, it's gonna be a bumpy night. And why? Oh, forget it. Gotta drain a lizard. Gonna go drain a lizard. That's what I'm doing. Yep. Oh, it's the evil dead all of a sudden. Look out. It's all right, Missy. It's all right. Lisa, get Missy and hold her down. Both of you lie flat. Get in here with the nitro. It's safe. If you're unsure and it's the 50s, duck and cover. Mm -hmm. I will prevail. I'm a survivor like Cher. It's go time. Let's party. I saw this coming a long way away. The horror. The horror. Ooh. Oh, they killed off the only likable character. Golf shoes for everybody! I dubbed this spot Luggage World. <laughs> I love the smell of lizard in the morning. It smells like chicken. I'm still here, Happer, you crap hound. No, oh, here comes Johnny on the spot now, <laughs> great. Yeah, these are out of state boys. They arrested me. I was out of my jurisdiction, don't you know? Are you all right? I'm bitter, yeah, Mommy. Okay. That's okay, honey. I saw my new dress. Oh, we can get you a new dress. Oh, it's coming out of your allowance. Everybody all right? Oh, we make a nice one. Yeah. Wedding. You? Ow! On the way back, we picked up his trail. Followed him across country. Oh, good. Adley Stevenson is what here. What did you hit him with? Everything I had. My brand new 100% completed hot rod. That too. I had to start in the next county to I get what up I enough momentum to do that to him. Not with four quarts of nitroglycerin right hmm? You rode across that rough field carrying nitro? Yes, Good job, sir. McLeod. Do you know what could have happened to you? It did. I lost my car. Oh, don't worry about that. The railroad will be glad to buy your new one. And the upholstery, of course, will be from Gila and Gila of Beverly Hills. Honey, Rod did you see it? I sure did, Missy. You were really traveling. <laughs> like Holly Go Lightly? Yeah. Hey, teeners, we found a new place to park and party. Ooh. Well, uh, how do you arrest a bunch of kids going in all different directions? Easy, tear you gas. Well, Rubber bullets. Happened if that thing had turned back, same thing that happened to Pat. <laughs> Sheriff, your job is a much bigger one than I thought. So is your gut. <laughs> Since Compton's gone, I guess Chase is out of a job. That's right. Did you make it a point to have the boy come around and see me in the morning? I'll bring him around in the morning. Next time on the ABC Movie of the Week, Clint Howard in Killdozer. The go. sheriff will be back in Kill to the Revenge. This time it's personal. Chase, take us out with a song. Check under my, hey, uh, Kimbot, I need a little more monitor up here. Two. One, two, 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 Hey, two. Uh, hey, just a second, Tom. We're going to uh, go through the song list now, OK? OK, sure. Two. OK. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this is the way I see it. We're going to start with the stuff we know. We're going to do that. Eric Burden, mm -hmm. I'm going to ride the serpent. Mm -hmm. OK. And then uh, that's followed by um, uh, Cold-Blooded, cold -blooded, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, Crow. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. It's Newt. Uh, I, it's I'm sorry. Newt I'm sorry, Newt, but we're not going to be able to do Karma Chameleon mm -hmm. for this show. Told okay? you, Newt. OK, so we do the lineup as is. Uh -huh. We start with the stuff. We know, followed by the stuff we don't know, mm -hmm. followed by Tom Servo's. No, no, I'm the gecko. The ah, gecko's yeah. touching and heartfelt yeah. version of It's Not Easy Being Green, kind of yeah. like the way that Buddy Rich did it on The Tonight Show, okay? Exactly. And then uh, finally, uh, for the finale at Crow, I mean the, the newt, newt. <laughs> we'll do the Gene Simmons tongue thing, okay? Uh, uh, All right. Woo, let's
Look uh, at that tongue action. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, I'll just say, guys, uh, I hate to be the flat tire in your tour bus. Um, I, I mean, I don't want you to think that I'm the aspirated uh, vomitus. What, what the, is uh, your point, Crow? Well, aren't we just doing the same stuff we did when we were spied or? What? You know, the glam rock power trio from Earth versus the spider. It's the same thing. No, no way, man. We're no. going in completely different directions here. The lineup's different. The instruments are the same. Well, hel these the helmets are new. Helmets are new, yes. And the, yeah. the sign in it. It's pretty lame, isn't it? We should just go ahead and read a letter. <sighs> Right, it was so, kind of a dumb there. idea. Okay, well, here we go. We got the letters. People always seem to like that. Okay, this is from, get that on still story. This is from Shannon, Hi, Shannon. age four. Oh, nice it says, on. Shannon likes your show, and it reads uh, Gypsy, mm -hmm. Joel, Tom, and then Crow is Art. Art? <laughs> she thinks you're Art. Oh. Okay, yeah. and then we got art another art, one here. Uh, <laughs> let's put that on still story. Ooh, this one uh, nice. reads, Dear Joe and Bots. Bots, that's I, us! Woo! Oh, we're the bots! Woo! We're the bots! Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I just love you, little guys. I like that way. Tom Serbo sings. You, Tom. My Serbo? favorite robot is Crow, but Joe is funny too. And it's signed TV's Frank? Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> what a little kiss up. Push the button, TV's Frank. Oh, little John, have you seen my arrow? 